Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just want to do a quick unboxing and review of the D-Link DWR921. Um, so this is a 4G LTE uh, router um, where you can put your actual uh, SIM card into directly and um, you can use your data plan if you're like me I've got a spare SIM um, that I normally have in my iPad or anything like that um, but it's only when I take it outside I use the actual uh, data plan so I have lots of data that's rolled over um, and I was thinking of using this actually as a secondary um, a router um, for my dual WAN uh, feature that's currently on my um, router that's the uh, AX11000 the Asus so as you can see here it's um, it's 4G so it's not 5G because right now they're quite expensive and I can just about get 4G still in our area so it's is 4G um, it does have Wi-Fi so it's an N300 so it's a Wi-Fi N um, and it, the 4G speeds it can get up to is I think it's category 4 so the maximum for that is 150 megabytes per second download and 50 megabytes per second upload. Um, so as you see here, as we said, it's the N300 Wi-Fi speeds. It does have, if you want to use this as your main uh, router, um, an internet uh, failover protection. So if you do have your main internet connected to the WAN port by Ethernet on the back and the 4G SIM card inside, um, then it will swap between the two, so it's quite good. Um, and also, it can, you can connect up to 32 devices, so that's quite a lot for the router. And you can see these two aerials here. Um, these are to help strengthen the, um, either of course for the aerials for Wi-Fi, but also for the 4G to help get better signal. So as we can see here, um, on the back, you've got all the details here. Um, as this is an international European version, so you've got around here the uh, 4G, as we said, Wi-Fi speeds up to 300 megabytes per second. So this is um, not the latest technology, um, but I'm not going to use the Wi-Fi for my purposes. But if you are, then I think anyway, this speed is more than enough because you can only get 4G speeds on this anyway. So up to 300 Wi-Fi N is fine. Um, as it says here, you can just insert the SIM card and basically it's a full size SIM card as well and you'll be able to see that uh, later on. So if we go to the uh, unboxing, so if I just uh, see where, if we can take off the uh, one here and see what's inside. So as you can see here, it does have some more details on the, on the side here. It does say about the 4G LTE and it's 3G. So if you can't get 4G in your area, then it, of course the speeds will drop down and about the Wi-Fi um, 11N and G. And then multiple antennas for, so the 4G LTE has got two, three uh, dB external and Wi-Fi is it's basically the Wi-Fi antennas are internal, it says here. So you've got two, three dB internal um, antennas for the uh, Wi-Fi as well. The um, four ports you'll see on the back as well, just to be aware, and they're not gigabit. Um, so these are only 10 or 100 um, gigabits, uh, megabits, sorry, um, uh, basically ports on the back. So you'll see later, so they're not gigabit. And again, you've got an onboard SIM slot. So that's a full size SIM, not the nano or micro. Um, and again, it, you've got here the security for WPA or WPA2. And as we said, the internet failover and you've got a power supply. These are the frequencies here that are supported, as you can see. And um, just looking on the side here, this is, um, there's different versions of this uh, D-Link um, router. And my hardware version is the C3. So I do believe this is like a newer version. They've got version 1, 2, um, and then they've got... Um, three and four and things like that. So they have different versions. Uh, so you can see it's quite well packaged. Uh, and then on the side here, got the power adapter. So of course we're in the UK, so we get our UK adapter. It's nice to see they included an ethernet cable as well. 
Uh, I don't expect this to be any high quality uh, one here because I think we don't really need it. So it's still Cat 5e, so it's still good enough to be honest um, for the quality and the connections and the cable uh, feels a good quality as well. So it's not a cheap uh, cable. So these are your two external aerials that you've got here. As you can see, they just uh, screw on and then also uh, like the paddles. Uh, underneath you probably have lots of your manuals, um, things like that. Um, there seems to be quite a lot of manual there. So if you're into reading, then you can have a go on that and read through it. Um, so this here as well, I don't think there's anything underneath there. That's just for uh, protection. Uh, so it's, as you can see here, it's very small and, and it's very light. Um, so it's all sealed up quite nicely. Uh, so yeah, so as you can see, it's actually quite nice. And you, you can see here um, on the front. So you've got the here, you've got the signal strength. Um, so that's of the actual, uh, probably going to be your SIM card. You've got the reset button. So everything's at the front. It's quite good. So you can see here, these light up green. So you've got one for power. Your uh, This is Wi-Fi. This is your 4G and 2G, 3G. So basically, if you can't get 4G signal, then it will automatically go back to 2G, 3G. It's quite nice. It actually shows you if it drops down so you know um, perhaps you need to move this around the house if you can. Um, see if you can get the best to like 4G signal. Um, SMS, so that's your text messages that come in on your SIM card from your network provider. Um, so in the UK, we've got Vodafone, EE. Um, and BT and things like that. So you've got Horizon and uh, different ones like that, AT&T. Um, then you've got your LAN port, so that's for the Ethernets at the back, and your WPS button, so that's the one you push so you can connect other devices to it very easily. Again, there's security issues around here, so I'd normally would advise to switch that off even though it's for convenience. But if you don't have many other people around you and you're quite remote area, then I'd leave it on and not too worried about security. Um, so what's really good about this is you can upgrade the aerials. So they're external, so they screw on, as you can see here. So if you do have problems with reception or if you're using this for like a caravan or an RV or anything like that, or mobile home, um, then you can actually get some external aerials and plug these in here to get much better uh, signal. Um, so as you can see here, you've got the one to four uh, Ethernet ports here and again they're only 10 or 100 uh, megabits um, per second um, on here so again just be wary they're not gigabit ports but for them for the price I paid and then for the means of the connection speed so you don't really need too much to be honest. Um, you've got WAN ports so that's to connect your internet here and again here is your SIM card slot so this is where a full size SIM card goes in and then the power adapter and then you've got a nice big um, power button here you can't can't get rid of that so it's good and again you've got all the details down here um, about the power connection and everything else um, it doesn't seem to be you've got some ventilation around the sides to keep it cool um, so and I don't pretend it will get too hot anyway but as I said it's a it's a plastic shell it's very light for what it is and very thin as you can see here so you can hide it away if need be um, but again is the is the ports on the back and everything else in the aerials as you can see so if we have a quick look at the aerials here so as we said there's two you've got the two aerials that come in a paddle and again it's quite good like i said is you can get external um, ones if you need be and again all they do is just uh, screw on so you you can see them they just screw on there you just finger tight and then you can see that they just fold up um, so and they screw on there. And again, you've got wall mounts at the bottom of the uh, router here. So you can, if you want to, um, get a bracket and then probably put it on the wall because it's very light. And you could even probably see if you can get some double-sided tape. And if, you, if it's going to somewhere that's not going to destroy your wall or anything like that, plaster, 
um, you could probably, it's very light, you could probably have this um, attached to the wall um, to go through. Um, so as I said, yeah, so it's very light, even with the aerials on, very thin, you can have it upright and everything, so you can have it down. Um, and it's good that it's got the, the power cord here. So again, you can get probably, if you need to be put it somewhere else, I'm sure you can get an extension uh, for the power. And again, because it's the standard, and it's good to see you've got the Ethernet ports here as well. Okay, uh, so that's just been a quick unboxing of this um, of this router. Um, so next uh, video I'll do is setting it up and going through any of the settings and uh, what's inside the web interface, so if it has an app. And uh, once we've done that, uh, next I want to then go on to the main purpose of why I've bought this is that uh, I want to actually... Um, use this as a backup for my dual WAN feature that's in my um, Asus AX11000 um, because I have been trying some 3G dongles that I've got so I've got uh, several 3G dongles um, I've tried to use within the backup that you can use um, this one here is actually on the list um, of uh, compatible ones the MF823 by uh, ZTE but I can't get the 3G to work. Um, I've tried many things as well. Um, so, um, and also I've tried a spare uh, router that I had as well. So hopefully I'm going down this path. It's probably a little bit more pricey, but um, as I said, I just like to be sometimes um, try and find out the best way I can do it. Um, and so that's why. Okay, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed this quick video.